As I speak, there are people gone on Metacritic and given Astral Chain a user score of zero because they're so raging. You just calm down, Hen. I'm telling them about this drama. Astral Chain is getting a zero by users on Metacritic because they're so raging that Astral Chain hasn't come out on their machine. It's only on Nintendo Switch. And they wonder they're raging. Astral Chain is half its nut. That's the first thing to say about it. It's half its nut. Listen, there's, there's no mystery when you're playing a game by Platinum over whether the game's going to be good or not, right? We, we know chances are the game's going to be good, right? We're talking about Platinum here. But what you never really know is what kind of vibe you're going to get for the game. Like, what, what have they went for this time? I'll tell you what they've went for with this one. They've went for the most sophisticated Platinum game I think there's ever been. It feels like a complete package. It's a game where you're constantly saying to yourself, oh my god, there's much more to do in this game than I thought there would be. It still has that Platinum game thing of driving you right into the action. You know, Platinum likes to grab grab your head, right? Grab you by the ears and go like that. Bang, 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 bang your head on the table, you know what I mean? You want to enjoy your game, mate? I boom, 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 bang your head on the table. This game starts like this as well. Shoves you on a motorbike flying through this beautiful neon tunnel, shooting at monsters. And was, while the credits are rolling. The credits are still rolling. Then you've got a wee moment of respite while you choose what your character looks like. Uh, I went for the... You can choose between a guy and a lassie. I went for the lassie here. Uh, you can change your hairstyle, you can change your look, change the vibe it, you know? So, right away from that point, you kind of say to yourself, hmm, it seems like there's a wee bit more going on here, you know? A wee bit of customization, very nice. The game looks fantastic as well. I love the look of this game. It's incredibly stylish. It's incredibly cool. I got the collector's edition with the art book and all that because right for the first screenshots I saw, I was like, man, I am into the vibe in this. And the vibe is really like Polis in the fu future. Polis with cool clay zone, jumping about with monsters attached to big chains, right? And they use the chains and the monsters and they're fighting. Uh, and Platinum did this amazing thing, didn't they? Every time Platinum did this amazing thing where they go, right, here's a quite a simple concept. How do we wring incredible combat out of that? But I don't like to bang on about the combat because you know the combat's going to be good. Here's what I will talk about first of all. The world building and the characters. See, Astral Chain has the vibe of the a new telly show or something. You know, a new cool Japanese telly show, a new cool Japanese anime thing. And it's a really strong effort to create a new IP that's got legs, you know what I mean? Because you're a polis in this polis station, there's other polis in there, they're each wee personalities in their own right. You enjoy getting to know them. We and I'm telling them about the polis station. You get to know the characters in that own right. And in between combat sequences, there are quite long, extended scenes where you are doing detective work, chatting to other polis, doing wee side missions, and they're all a total pleasure to play. And I just love... I mean, take a look here, like, I just love the effort they've made to establish character in the world. And uh, just, the, just the general kind of quirky vibe of the whole thing. It's a very, very quirky game and a really brilliant world to exist in. And that's the thing I feel has maybe been lacking for some Platinum games. Like, I love Vanquish, for example, but it feels quite bare bones in places. Check us. This is the restroom. It's for everyone, so make sure you keep it clean. Even I'm house-trained after all. No, I mean... So, here I am with my, uh, my Legion on its chain. Basically just like a big dog, a big uh, robot monster fighting dog. And here I can use a toilet. I found a toilet. This is while I'm out doing an investigation. I found a toilet and I've done a shite. I've done a shite into the toilet and I've got some dead leaves that I can use to wipe miles with. So, you didn't get that in Vanquish, did you? Oh, by the way, I should talk to you about the combat uh, and just how you move about in combat settings. Here's me using my big mad dug monster to do platform and stuff by moving it across here. And I'm doing this, by the way, while fighting a boss knight. It's absolutely magic. Listen, the combat in this game is absolutely magic. It's all about using your chain, chaining up the baddies, 
creating combos, having fast reactions to activate special attacks, dodging at the right moment, just like in Bayonetta, you know that thing where you dodge and everything slows down and it opens up the opportunity to do more attacks, but you can be you're lassoing things with your chain, you're, you're chopping things in half with your chain, you can become an absolute master at this game, I'm sure, but man, you come for the combat, right, but you stay for the world, for the presentation, um, I just love this game, I just think this is an, an incredible game that everybody that has a Switch needs to buy and everybody that hasn't got a Switch has to go to Metacritic and get a 0 out of 10 because I'm telling you, you must be fucking raging. Are you playing with your wee farm, Waverly? Waverly? Did you put a wee blanket on the cow? Uh, yes! Is it nice and warm? Yes! 